and welcome board and good evening how is everybody doing and <laughs> this is it this is my stream how's it going <laughs> hey train uh thank you very much joe packing for the follow and this is it thank you very much i really appreciate it thank you so much uh thanks for bringing the hype i really appreciate it. i really appreciate you coming in oh my god <laughs> thank you very much for coming on in uh you picked a great time uh i'm doing a tribute uh speed run today uh i'm actually trying to get this done knocked out uh <laughs> it's it's quite all right it's it's okay thank you very much for lurking uh it's the funny thing is, is i'm i'm trying to get this I'm trying to get more attention on this game. Uh, there might be mistakes made. Uh, I think it's going to be the first in this class. So by default, I'll be the f I'll be the record holder. Uh, but I'm trying to get more attention on this game. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you were here. <laughs> Uh, no, I really appreciate you coming on by. I really do. I appreciate, I, uh, I really appreciate the lurk. I really appreciate you coming on by the other night. Uh, it's quite all right. I, I appreciate all the follows, the likes, uh, the, I really appreciate all the attention. I, I appreciate all the traffic. Everybody's, everybody's awesome. I, I, it's more than I could even ask for. Uh, a little bit about this game uh this so since et uh <laughs> since et actually kind of crashed the video game market back in the 80s uh pretty much everything before that kind of got lost in the shuffle lost in the mix so uh it actually uh yeah et the extraterrestrial for the atari 2600 there were like copies of it buried out in the desert for the longest time. Uh, it was, it basically, the game was so bad that they, it just tanked the video game market. Um, I even have a copy of it on my shelf in the background. Uh, uh, but for the most part, uh, most of the games before that people just kind of forgot about, kind of didn't pay much attention to. Uh, but there's a few hidden gems in that mix. And there's a few computer games, a few computer systems, and a few, a few, like, nostalgic games and systems that are kind of lost in the shuffle. And one of those is the TI-99, that's the Texas Instruments 99 home computer. And it has a few classic games associated with it. And one of those is Tunnels of Doom. Let me change the music real quick. Because I'm going to have to do it eventually. Uh... This is going to be kind of setting the tone and ambient or ambiance for the muse for the quest that I'm going to be going on. Uh, <laughs> so the this this game was came out in late 1982. Uh, I think it was like December 31st, 1982. So this is almost 40 years old. I have a physical copy of it. I have the original hardware too. I am not going to play on original hardware and I'm not going to use a physical copy. I'm going to emulate it because uh, getting the physical copy to uh, work with uh, streaming hardware would be a pain. <laughs> and getting the... Uh, getting the physical copies of the software to work 
is going to be absolutely horrible because we're talking about 40 year old media uh like on software like on uh floppy disk which i actually have an example it's old five and a quarter inch floppy disks or uh audio cassette and trusting that that will work uh every single time is is not not pretty so emulation is the best honestly the best option uh so you just got to find a good emulator for it now that said uh there's a lot of different options this is actually a fully flushed out game it's an old spin-off of dungeons and dragons it's a fully flushed out 10 floor up to 10 floor uh turn-based role-playing game uh that is similar to XCOM or Diablo where you're taking turns traveling down a dungeon and looking for a king and I've got to do this I uh, I know I'm so terrible but you're looking for a king and orb uh but that's the whole reason I got that emote is the orb has been a trope since the 1980s uh it's always been a trope in games and gaming and that's the reason that i have the emote it's a popular thing <laughs> uh it actually had it came with an editor as well uh so you could actually edit packs for it too um you could come up with different like story packs and stuff and edit the monsters and stuff. Uh, oh yeah. Now here's the thing. This is a, this is back in the eighties when not many people had, uh, home computers. We were, we were very lucky. I think we got, we got ours like secondhand. Of course I, I am not a, I didn't come from like a lot of money originally i i was like i came from like you know lower middle class uh family and stuff like that so i i got i got this computer second hand and i we absolutely love this game it brought our family together uh my parents my siblings and everything we all pl crowded around and played this game a lot so it has really nostalgic and really family oriented ties to me. Um, and I opened it up, represent the stream team here. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so I have nostalgic feelings for this game. It really hits close to home. Um, now, in addition to that, uh, I'll I'll hit on some nostalgia. I'll hit on some uh, other other tones later on about that. But uh, the editor, you could you could actually get different mission packs and different quest packs. Like you could, I think there was a Star Star Trek one where you were going on an away mission and then all it did was modify the the class sets like you had a science officer or or a security officer instead of the different classes and stuff like that and the stores offered different uh, upgrades it was it was actually full it was actually fully flushed out and it was a very modular system and you could edit the different enemies and stuff like that. It was, it was absolutely brilliant for its time. Uh, and I've still got some of the documentation for the, the Tunnels of Doom editor somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere stuck on a hard drive somewhere, but I, I'd have to look for it. Uh, but that said, um, hang on. Help me work up the hype. 
because this is about to this is about to get interesting. Uh, gotta hydrate first. Um, and gonna shift on over. Now, <laughs> about the people that are going on this quest with me. Uh, Selena, you probably know, uh, she has been very instrumental in helping me, helping me along my streaming quest and my streaming, my path to affiliate. Uh, and Tifei has an affiliate, uh, has like an affiliate program where he helps out people to try and get affiliate as well. Uh, so those two are absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's quite all right. Uh, do what you need to do. It's it's great. <laughs> uh, oh, then definitely grab something to eat. But Aaron Stevie has abso absolutely been amazing and wonderful uh and i will talk about her uh and the stream team uh the mint condition more after i get after i get wrapped up uh in just a moment uh but we are at the point of no return this is after you input all your names. You can have uh, up to 15 letters in your in your name. And I think I've talked ad nauseum about the history of this game. Uh, but uh, the, the countdown or the clock is ready. Uh, I think. I'm going to adjust it a little bit bigger. And the reason that I have music playing in the background is other than two parts in this game, there is no background music whatsoever. So <laughs> it's going to be up to me to provide the music. And as soon as I hit go, it's going to start digging the tunnels and making the map and it's going to randomly generate the map and then after that it's up to me um i'm nervous about this i'm on a grand stage and we'll see how well this goes uh all right and Okay, let's do this in, all right, give me a second, making sure everything's good to go. <sighs> okay, got water. So this is going to be four floors, any percent, and I am about ready for this. I just need all the hype in the world right now because this is really nerve wracking. <laughs> and. All right. Um, and in three, two, one. There we go. So right now it's digging out the digging out each floor and what it does is it basically creates a map of each floor and sets the rooms up and after that it'll actually stock each room and it's placing the staircases for each room as well or each floor as well and each staircase is set in the same location for each sequential floor so it's basically mapping uh each floor in succession layered on top of each each other so it's 
actually creating a 3D model of a dungeon. Uh, way back in 1982, that's really impressive for a computer like this. Uh, this is not a, an advanced computer at all. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be traveling down this dungeon, trying to find the best route, and the first floor, the strategy is going to be we're, we have to find the map in order to advance down below uh, to each uh, successive uh, floor. But first we've got to actually purchase all of our equipment. And this is going to be the boring part. Uh, so... Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to hold off on five. And then get rations the rest. The rations are basically your healing. And now we're on our way down to the first floor of the dungeon. So, this is, like I said, without background music, this is actually kind of dull. And I made a mistake <laughs> already. I accidentally hit function up, which sends me right back up the, up the stairs to the store again. And it's actually got a beautiful interface considering the time uh, change weapons change weapons And we already have the map. <laughs> um, so. One thing that I want to do. Is I want to grind a little bit more. And the reason for that. That's perfect. Uh, I just want to grab a little bit more gold. And there is a rudimentary leveling system in this game as well. And I want to go back to the store real quick. So for combat, you typically only have two turns, and that can be one movement or one uh, one action. 
And actions are typically defined by changing weapons, using an item, uh, moving a square. Typically attacking ends your turn anyway, so. And there we go. And give that to and one. And I got another map. So So we are this does have a universal timer as well. Uh, you have so many turns to actually complete your quest on. Uh, pop it open real quick. But yeah, you have a limited number of turns to complete your quest. And trying to keep those back. Hey, April, how's it going? Yes, I am. I'm killing 40-year-old zombies. <laughs> and... And swinging and missing a lot, too. There we go. So, one quick tip. Avoid fountains at all cost. There's a lot of RNG in this game, and that is a big way to get stuck in an RNG sink. Now, we're just running down this hallway real quick. And yeah, going up. Seven. Hashtag. Seven. Alina, uh, six, stock upon rations. Not very fast, actually. <laughs> the, these are pretty slow zombies. They miss a lot. They, uh, two, I want to get more, more arrows for Tifei. I want to make sure he doesn't run out. Cool. And... And I think that'll do it. And then we're on our way. This should last us for the rest of the run. 
yeah, these are these are just like your Night of the Living Dead, Deadite, Walking Dead zombies. And okay, so we're gonna go up. We didn't mean to do that. So that's a small time loss. <laughs> Probably about 10 seconds. And we're going to go head out east. And... Now we're going to go down. Now, the next question, the next goal for us to do on these next three floors or next two floors is to find the map as fast as possible and get to the. Well, we found the stairs. <laughs> Uh, so we have the stairs. We just need to find the map. Um, I hope they are. <laughs> Otherwise, PETA will be all over me. Uh... <laughs> all right. Let's see. Last estimate I had for this game was about 45, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. Getting down. Getting down to the fourth floor is the hardest part. And then any crazy. crazy uh, monsters down there that you might encounter are pretty scary. Uh... Touchstones are 50-50. Uh... <laughs> I have not been in there. Uh, give it to Aaron. Uh, okay. And I mentioned this earlier, but normally this does uh, sh So those are particular evil creatures that are normally found on the fourth floor. Because they have a special attack that decreases your weapon damage. Uh... Um... Uh, give the leather to, there we go. And give that to Selena and give, take the map. And we're going north because there's a secret. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
We gotta run. Nope. Because both of those are right off the... So in this game, you can actually... You can do a lot. You can change your party configuration. Like, you can switch uh, how they enter the... Like, the order that they enter the room. Uh... You can negotiate with monsters uh, to escape. Uh, there's a, there's a, you can have random encounters. Uh, This was actually surprisingly well thought out for 40 years ago. Because this actually came out like like the card above it to, uh, above the timer says. This came out in 1980, late in 1982. And going to be any of the, either of these doors that works <sighs> oh you're quite a hurt you're quite all right all right now We are fighting all... The funny thing is this... Ooh. And I can't... I don't have anybody else that I can... That needs a shield. And... Let's see. Come on. And there are... Oh, wow. Um, give up that. Give it to Selena. And we can give up that. Give to... Tifa can't take it, so and avoid those at all costs. The living statues basically tell you what I... Uh, if you have unused items, uh, they tell you what they are. Interesting. An empty room. All right. All right. So, oh.
Oh my god. Okay. Nope, not worth it. We can do this. There we go. And that will work. Okay. Almost to the fourth floor. Which means things ramp up from here. Um, I need to find the king and I need to find his ma magical orb. If you're, if you're a subscriber, if, spam your orbs. Because <laughs> it is the rainbow orb, and that's a subtle nod. <laughs> Ooh. This is not going well. Oh my god. Come on. Um, or 
orb. <laughs> All right. Now, Selena's going to be pissed because she has to walk it off for a little while. Until we can find the general store. <clears throat> uh, okay. This is basically a game of mastermind to, to figure out the combination. Oh, so, one, one, three, four, oh, one, one, three, four, one, one, four, three. So, so three, one, one, four, or three, Three one one four. One three one three one four. And your damage goes up every time. So one three four one. One, four, three, one. God. Okay. And uh definitely give to Aaron. Um uh, wait. What was that? Hold on, wait. Oh, I'll definitely take the battle axe. <laughs> All right. Well, Selena's back. <laughs> Selena's gone. <laughs> Again, more zombie wolves. I mean, that, that definitely works. And we were talking about this before we started, but there used to be a an editor for this game where you could just modify everything in the game, like all the, all the sprites, all the... all the uh all the weapons all the enemies
Trying to clear. Yeah, you gotta love that. <laughs> you hit the ghost. <laughs> I'm trying to clear as many of the rooms as I can. Oh, what is this? I got in a good shot with that sling. Or Aaron got in a good shot with that sling. <laughs> All right. I'm not trying to grind. I'm just trying to find this, the RNG King. <laughs> Which, which is located somewhere in this dungeon. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that'll help. I mean, I hit I just hit dark slime, so Thank you. Now, no, uh, pretty much covered most of everything on this side. I'll go south and see what's down below me. And it's bats.
<sighs> I mean, when they are trying to kill you, they are they are pretty cute. I need to find this. Let's do this. This RNG King is absolutely terrible. And I have Selena back. <laughs> and Selena's gone. <laughs> I just need to stop saying she's back. All right, come on. Just need a couple of good hits. I thought I picked up that battle axe. But I'm seeing that I have a sword. Which will you give up? The shield. Go up and east. I will definitely take this. Uh, seven. Hashtag. Seven. Selena. And I do... And don't know if I need Ah, uh, damn it. I And more rations. I will definitely take take the store. I <laughs> that king. I need to find him fast. We'll go through here. Come on. So this game is is a good bit of RNG. Pretty much all of the maps are laid out in RNG. There we go. 
I found another map and the great thing about having walls joining the room is you can actually take secret passages to the to the adjoining no <laughs> You can take walls or secret passages to to the adjoining hallways. This shouldn't take too long. Just having to find my way back is going to be a pain. Okay, not any of those. Ugh. Okay, one more over in and south. Just go all the way south. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And back down.
All right. Please. Okay. I've almost explored this entire... I, I could almost do a 100% run on this. Oh my god. There's only two rooms that I haven't checked. It's the last two rooms that I've checked this floor. Oh my god. <laughs> so... I am... I do have ties to the military, yes. <laughs> uh... Oh, crap. Uh... The Tifa is my rogue right now, but yes, I... Uh, I've been in the I've been in uniform before, so uh, Navy actually. Oh, so. oh, so. woohoo! Let's see. Higher than one has higher than all ones has a two Okay. Let's see if this will make it easier on, on us. Okay. So we're going to get a lot of random encounter. Now that we have both uh, objectives, we're going to get a lot of random encounters. We're pushing close to an hour for this run. If the enemies aren't bad enough, 
I'll stay and fight. If, if it's a pain, then, then I'll slowly make my exit. But yeah, we'll get a lot more random encounters on our way back. Right now, we're just making a break for the stairs. <laughs> and we're running from zombies. All right. This one we're going to just press forward with. All right. And. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. So we gotta make our way back up each sequential staircase. And if I remember right, this one is right here. So we've done two so far. This <laughs> We're on the second floor, we just got one this we're right here we're come on i forgot this one was this close can i get a, can i get under an hour <laughs> that's all i ask <laughs> Oh my god. I can I can do this. If I don't get random encounters and I'm going to get random and time. Woo shit. Oh. Okay, 57.04. Oh my god. So, what I was talking to A-Train about before, before you came in was I'm actually submitting this. <laughs> I'm actually submitting this to speedrun.com. And... They don't have a category uh, for this right now. And 
and I want to get more recognition for this because this is this is actually a classic. This is something that is an un uh, an unrecognized classic, and it needs more attention on it. Uh, this is one of the precursors for stuff like Diablo and XCOM. It's a turn-based dungeon game that came out almost 40 years ago. And it was the first logical step between Dungeons and & Dragons and software computer games. It was the, it was the first computer game between the, uh, between... No, there's a way to shut off the... But there, was, but this there was a uh, this was the first logical step between the two, and the reason that I'm doing this is I have a lot of nostalgia built up uh, between from this game uh, uh, for this game. Uh, I talked about this before. I did the. Before, before I did the run. And uh the the reason that I did it is because hold on. Uh got it. Uh okay. Okay. There we go. I killed the music. Uh the reason that I did this was because I got a lot of family nostalgia from this. I used to play this with my parents a long time ago. And my parents are no longer with me. Um, uh, my mom passed away almost ten, a little over 10 years ago from pancreatic cancer. And my father passed away late 2020 uh during the pandemic um uh not from covid related uh illness but just he passed away from old age uh during the pandemic and this game uh just brought back a lot of good memories uh uh, of us getting together and just I have a lot of nostalgia built up around it uh I I I have a lot of good memories of them and it and it's very it's very reminiscent of a lot of old uh uh a lot of awesome times that I had with them. Uh, and video games and movies and music and classic uh, movies and video games were always something that I grew up with. Uh, and I always had an appreciation for them. And I talked about how much here, we'll go to my stats screen. So Tifa, <laughs> Tifa, uh, if you aren't familiar with his community, uh, if you aren't familiar with him, go check him out. Uh, he has an entire community set up to help out people and try and get them set up for affiliate and try to get them booked up to uh, become affiliate. And he's just an amazing and selfless streamer. And I wholeheartedly admire him. He's just an absolutely wonderful guy. Just my all my all my heart goes out to him. Um uh let's see <laughs> who's next in my stats this dude 
Oh my god, what a, what can I say about that guy? That... <sighs> Selena. Oh my god. <laughs> Selena has done a lot for the, for my stream. Uh, she's been a frequent in this channel. She's uh, given me a lot of uh, support and uh, I can't even begin to tell tell you how much uh, her friendship and how much her help uh, in making affiliate has meant to me and I really do appreciate her from the bottom of my heart uh, so and then Aaron Stevie. <laughs> oh. The. The mint condition. Um. She brought me into the stream team. And I am. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, how honored and privileged I am to be a part of such a wonderful group of people and such a, among so many talented and wonderful gamers and wonderful content creators. I, it's, I almost feel like I am, I don't deserve it, but I, it's my honor and my privilege to be among those uh, people, and I, I will do my best to uh, live up to that expectation. Uh, I will tell you how I met Aaron, and this is going to get me emotional and teary, because uh, <laughs> I told you that my parents passed away recently, and my mom passed away about ten years ago. Uh, this one, this one is really personal to me because I felt a deep emotional attachment for Aaron the first time I even saw her. Uh, I, I just checked out her stream and the first time I ever saw her streaming was... I saw somebody who was uh, extremely emotionally distraught. I just checked it out, at, checked her stream out at random, and I asked what was going on, and she said her mom was going into surgery. And uh, my heart immediately, like, fully went out to her because I knew exactly what she was going through. And I absolutely felt for her. And I, I saw her entire community rally around her and try and support her. And I absolutely appreciated that, appreciated that. And from that point, I knew that that was the kind of community that I wanted to be a part of. And I absolutely love that community, and I've been a part of it ever since. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> mm. Ugh. But that's why I wanted to... That's why I've stuck with that community. Uh, that's why I feel completely compelled and honored to be uh, a part of her her team and I she is just an absolutely wonderful person I, I'm it's an honor for me to be her friend and I <laughs> and I I'm deeply touched that she she thought of me to to add me to her team 
Um, that said, I'm probably going to cut the stream in a little bit. Uh, probably either going to raid or head out and have this uploaded. Um, but yeah, this, um, I can't tell you enough how much it means, but we are, this all, if everything goes to plan, uh, you're looking at the new world record holder for Tunnels of Doom and the new moderator for Tunnels of Doom <laughs> for just under an hour uh, with just under an hour on his uh, time <laughs> so you have a world record holder in, in the mint condition <sighs> but got to get that got to get that time in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check and see who is on right now and I'm going to deal with that echo. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Jammy's on. We got to send it over to Jammy. But let's see. See what we can do. Um, Um, let's see. How's that sound? <clears throat> and then the unsub and let's do actually got a raid over there. But I really appreciate everyone out there and thank you. Thank you so much for coming by and we'll see how this goes and oh my God, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, I have all the rules uh, laid out and they're all ready to go, but I really do. I really do appreciate you guys coming by and watching me struggle through this. 
and watching Selena get like yeeted several times uh and watching me like fight through the struggle bus to do this and i i really appreciate you and i hope you know that you guys your support means everything to me. thank you very much i i couldn't i wouldn't be here without you guys uh, with that said let me wrap up and we'll send it on over to Jamie. Until next time, take care, take it easy. And, uh, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>